New photos of big Rami emergent. Is that tricep and his issues fixed due to the stem cell treatment? Also, what's Ronnie Coleman's advice for big Rami regarding the 2023 Mr. Olympia? We've got all that plus much more coming up in this bodybuilding news video, guys. Hope you enjoy it. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and let's get straight into this one with a ton of bodybuilding news stories. And the first one is Eddie Hall, eight weeks out from his cut in his new bodybuilding journey. And I mean, I don't think Eddie Hall's going to make any dramatic impact in bodybuilding. I mean, you look at the legs, the legs aren't what they would need to be, and he has that tremendously wide waist. I mean, he's built like a strong man, which he was the best in the world. Phenomenal strong man, insane strength, and credit to him for putting uh, this all together and doing this bodybuilding journey because it, it draws more attention to bodybuilding, which I absolutely love. And he's almost 400 pounds in these recent updates as well, which is a tremendous weight considering he has abs. I don't think there's many guys, there's not many guys over 300 pounds with abs. I mean, you've got your Samson Doubters and all those sorts of guys, but I mean, almost 400 pounds? There'd be hardly anyone in the world with that sort of uh, thing on their resume. So shout out to Eddie Hall for uh, his journey into bodybuilding, but I don't think he's going to do anything and break any records in bodybuilding like he did in Strongman. Now, our next story, Roman Fritz, is he going to do every show in 2023 from here onwards? No, but I did hear on a recent episode of Fuad Abiyad's podcast that he is planning on doing every European show for the rest of the year, and there's plenty of those to come, and he's going to be competing against guys like Nathan Diasha, and he does have the Portugal Pro in just three weeks' time, and he's looking damn good as well. This was actually post-show. His weight actually came down, as you can see here by his description of this uh, video that he put on Instagram, and... I mean, Roman is one of these guys, he's a freak, where he actually had to eat an excessive amount of food to prep for this show. And it's a luxury he sort of has, but in many ways, I think he'd prefer that he didn't have to eat quite the amount he has to eat, even while prepping. So this guy has an insane metabolism, and I think it was a smart move, actually, pushing his calories so high for this contest, because he appeared to come in bigger, and I thought he came in at his all-time best at this recent show, just this past weekend at the M Pro Classic, the Spain Pro. But let me know what your thoughts are on Roman Fritz, how he looked at that M Pro Classic, and how you think he'll do for the rest of the 2023 bodybuilding season. And will he qualify for that 2023 Mr. Olympia? Now we've got another physique update from Stanimal Stan Delonjou of the Bodybuilding University podcast here on Desktop Bodybuilding. And he's looking phenomenal. And honestly, I think he has the potential to win this upcoming Orlando Pro just next weekend. I believe Stan's flying out right now. I was just talking with him. And I've got to be honest, I think he's a contender to win this show. Now, many people are banking on Hassan Mustafa to win this one. He came second to Ian Valier at that Toronto Pro, where Hassan, I think, looked at his all-time best or very, very close to it. Now, Hassan's going to try to come in a little bit harder at this next show, so that makes a lot of sense, but I don't think he's going to out-condition a very condi conditioned Stan Delonjou, so he's going to have his work cut out for him there, and honestly, I think Stan Delonjou could win this 2023 Orlando Pro, and he might be my prediction to win as well, and some people might say I'm being a little biased, but we saw how it worked out against Ian Valier. Ian Valier was the taller bodybuilder. He's the guy that had, the, I suppose, overall a better structure than Hassan Mustafa, and I think we're going to see the same thing from Stan Delonjou, and with the conditioning of Stan, the round muscle bellies, and the improvements he's made, he was only one spot away from qualifying for the 2022 Mr. Olympia, and I think he can do one better here and win this show against a very good Hassan Mustafa. Now, Rafael Brandeo was obviously formerly working with Chris Aceto, now working with Neil Hill, the man who led Flex Lewis to seven 212 Olympia titles. This is his off-season. He's looking damn good. I believe he's sitting out the rest of the 2023 competitive season. He's going to focus on 2024, come in bigger, and really have a run at pushing up past that 10th spot in the Mr. Olympia, which he came last year. And I think he's going to be able to do that. I think he's made continual improvements to his physique, and I think he's going to come in at his all-time best in 2024. And I'm very, very excited to see how Rafael Brandeo does because he has my, honestly, my favorite physique in the IFB Pro League right now. Let me know how you think Rafael Brandeo will do in 2024, and can he push up higher than that 10th place position he achieved last year? Now, Urs Kalachinski, 
He's looking enormous. This is Ur's biggest ever. He is looking so damn good in these recent physique updates, also known as the Miracle Bear. And Greg Doucette actually took his body fat percentage, calculating it up as 10.3%. Now, I believe Urz is actually probably a little bit above that because he worked out, he said if Urz comes in at 0% body fat based off his weight and taking off that 10.3%, he would actually still be 20 something pounds over the classic physique weight limit. Now we know Urz has been a little bit off that classic physique weight limit. It seems like he's gonna be much closer to filling out that weight limit. And I think that puts him in great stead to take on and potentially battle guys like Chris Bumstead and maybe even take out a Ramon Dino. And my prediction is that Urz will be top two at the 2023 classic physique Olympia. But let me know how you think he'll do. And I think it's been a great move. Urz actually adding a little bit more body fat this uh, off season because he seems to have added more muscle with that as well. Now we've got another physique update here and it's just one photo, but it's from James Hollingshead. And I heard on a recent AMA podcast with Mil Sarchev and also Chris Tuttle, but he's weighing 310 pounds currently. And he's not in bad shape at all. James is a little bit taller than some other pros, which when you see him standing individually by himself, I always think he's shorter than he is, but he is taller and he's packing a ton of muscle. I think he's made improvements to his physique as well. And we saw James back at that British Grand Prix where he won it in honor of Luke Sando, the late, great Luke Sando. And if he brings that package with a little bit more muscle, James Hollingshead is a top 10 Mr. Olympia competitor. I have no doubt about that. And even though the top 10 is so impressive in Mr. Olympia nowadays, I think that in 2024, James Hollingshead, as well as Rafael Brendeo, can push into that top 10 and even make a real impact. Because the way we was talking about James, you know, prior to him competing in the last two Olympias he did, we were talking about him as being a potential top six guy. Now, a few performances have sort of made bodybuilding fans back away from that prediction. But I think that James just hasn't been at his best, really. That's that's all it comes down to. I think that if he brings his best, he can be phenomenal. And we know as well from what he's actually said on some podcasts, that he actually took less in terms of super supplements for that last Mr. Olympia. So I think that with the increase in that, with pushing things a little bit more, with pushing this weight up right now, he can definitely make an impact in the 2024 Mr. Olympia. Granted, he actually qualifies, but I believe he definitely will. Now, Ronnie Coleman has had some advice for Big Rami, and we have some new pictures. Well, I believe they're new at least anyway. You guys can let me know what you think from him. And uh, I did get some confirmation on a photo that Big Rami shared. He actually shared it from someone else's share on their story. I asked the guy, I said, is this photo new? And he said yes. I even asked him in Egyptian, in the, uh, the proper Egyptian writing, and also in Egyptian translation as well. And I said, new question mark, and he says yes. So Big Rami actually shared it as well. Big Rami does not follow this guy. I tried to investigate if they're actually friends and whatnot. Big Rami does not actually follow him on Instagram, but Big Rami shared it. This guy said it was new. And then Big Rami actually shared this photo just hours ago as well on his IG story and actually tagged one of his good friends in this one with no sort of extra explanation on there. And I've got to assume this is recent. I just have to assume it's recent. We know Big Rami's back into his training now. So I was sort of keeping an eye on Big Rami's IG to see if there's been any new photos, any new updates. And then we're seeing this one. Now, if this is recent, it has to be really recent because I don't believe it's from the last two years prior either. And it looks like his physique is sort of not one from a couple of years ago. His face is sort of looking the same, all that sort of stuff. So I think this is a recent shot. And the first thing that I noticed about this side chest is that tricep is poking out a long way. And we know he had the stem cells injected into that area specifically, and he's able to train the area again. And that tricep is really, really poking out, which is super encouraging because when you look back at the past, you know, Arnold Classic, Olympia and whatnot, that tricep did not balloon out like that. So I think the big Rami's triceps are going to be improved if he competes at the 2023 Mr. Olympia. And on a recent episode of the Ronline Report on uh, muscular development with Ron Harris interviewing Ronnie Coleman that only just went up yesterday, he was Ronnie Coleman's advice for Big Rami. You're the only, there's not many people I can ask about what Mr. Olympia should or shouldn't do, but you're one of them. So uh, <laughs> Big Big Rami was advised by Steve Weinberger to take, you know, take some time off away from competing and see if his body sort of, I don't know, regenerates itself, refreshes, gets back. Uh, little things that it seems to have lost in the last couple of years. So, you know, you're you're one of the few people qualified to answer this. 
Good idea for a two-time Mr. Olympia to step step away from the show for a year or bad idea? No, nah, that's a bad idea. You should learn mm. that from Bill Heath. <laughs> mm. Yeah. He did yeah. that. Look what happened to him, you know. Everybody everybody passes you up, you know. Mm. Yeah. You kinda you kinda like you 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 lose your momentum, you know. I think as long as you're competing, your momentum is going real strong. But once you take a year off, it kind of interrupts the progress that you have going. So I, I don't, I, I would never do that. Well, I would never do that, you know, in the first place. But of course, I didn't, I didn't have that problem that mommy had. But you know, everybody's, body, everybody's different, you know, different opinions. But I would have never done that for sure. So as you can see there, that advice actually flies in the face of what Steve Weinberger actually advised Big Rami. And, you know, one's coming from a eight-time Mr. Olympia, one's coming from the head judge of a Mr. Olympia, so both overly qualified to give that advice as well. I mean, I actually heard Nick Walker on a recent video actually say that he would advise Big Rami to actually have a year off as well. So people have differing advice for Big Rami, and Big Rami has to really know, I suppose, for himself and talk to his coach, Chad Nichols, and decide if he's going to compete in this 2023 Mr. Olympia. But if he does, he has to be all in. And honestly, if this is a new photo of Big Rami, it excites me a huge amount. If those quad holes are filled in, if the triceps are back, if the back looks like it did at the Arnold or maybe slightly better, I think Big Rami is a contender for the 2023 Mr. Olympia title. You've had guys like Jay Cutler say that Big Rami could win the Olympia again. And Jay was a man who actually did that. He lost his title like Big Rami and he won it back when no one thought he could. So could Big Rami be the second man ever to actually lose their Mr. Olympia title? and then win it back. We've seen Arnold, obviously, he stepped away from a stage. He didn't lose his title and then come back to win it, but he would only be the second man ever to do that, where he lost his title and then won it back. I would love to see it, but let me know. Let me know, do you think these recent photos of Big Rami are new or old? I think they're new personally, or at least the side chest is new. The other one, I mean, unless the guy's lying to me, then that's new as well. And it excites me a huge amount because he's looking phenomenal in both physique updates, especially that side chest. And also, guys, make sure you check out the latest episode of Bodybuilding University where we had Keon Pearson on. And Keon discloses if he will make a move to the open bodybuilding from the 212 either this year, next year, or at some point in the future. And he gives a definite answer as well. It's not a maybe. It's not a, oh, we'll see. It's a definite yes or no. So make sure you check that out to find out the answer on that one. And for all the links like to the video of uh, Greg Doucette and Urs and the interview with Ronnie Coleman on muscular development, the links are in the description below as well. Also, if you like this one, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills here at Desktop Bodybuilding. So I'm Xavier Wills, this is Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are out. Mm -hmm.